welcome everyone back to the channel and i would like to say that thank you for 1000 subscribers on youtube because it has been like a whole pleasure working on youtube right and it was actually a fun experience that i had so yeah i'm using my voice right now because i got tired doing the captions so in the mail today we received well the plane that i ordered the model plane i thought it was pretty pretty cool but the packaging was pretty good it was solid hopefully it did not break so i'm like i already finished building it i'm just in the editing mode right now and it is done like it's magnific magnificent i forgot how to say my words but so we started off with the fuselage and that's on the first cover and there was the landing gears for apparent reasons there is they're packaged in like little small pockets for you and i opened up the package went up to the like the second column second below it has the shape though i ha i like it it has the shape it's compact and the second level we had like the plane models and like the description of them and what serial number they are well in this set we had basically the stand and the landing gears and the fins actually not landing gears the landing gears are on the wings that you can see but there's also the instruction manual the assembly instruction there were also the engines so I was looking forward to making the plane come alive, right? So this is actually a scale 1 to 200 model of the Boeing 747-400 version of British Airways. When I was buying this, I was like, wow, this looks sick. Let me just buy this real quick because this is my first plane model. I have other plane models that I made like by cardboard and metal from my school. But so here we see the landing gears and they're pretty smooth i'm not gonna lie they're like pretty pretty smooth pure rubber i think it's pure we got the fins right we got the winglets and that's the second wing that's i think the right wing correctly and there's an attachable piece over there now these are the engines so it was pretty nice looking at those engines it was pretty good there's like four pieces of the engine cowl and then eight pieces of the propel propeller and the exhaust and there's there comes the instruction manual i always read the instructions first because you never know if you miss something or not but it was pretty explanatory i liked it now we put that to the side. I got rid of the plastic that there was on there. So I gave the thumbs up on to start building. I got myself like a board because I do aircraft drawings at school. So the board, I got it up on my table. I was like, let's just build it on here. So I started building. I read the assembly manual though. The assembly was, wasn't that bad, but, yeah, I just connected my phone onto my computer, because I don't know how much battery I got, but, otherwise, <laughs> let's continue on. At the back, there was the BAE-146, the Dash-8, the MD-90, the Mad Dog, and also there was a stand instruction manual for those wooden stands, which you had screws for. But the one we're building is on the front cover, which is the British Airways Boeing 747-400 scale 1 to 200 model. We started with the, I believe, the stand, right? It was a little bit hard to clip on, but at the end, I got it. Like, I also unpackaged packaged it. It came with two horizontal stabilizers, which was great because they packed it in such compact so that it wouldn't break 
I decided that we should first build a stand because that's the most basic thing. And there's this little note on the back. It says Skymarks is a registered trademark of Darren Worldwide Trading Inc. And it says in New Jersey. I believe so. I have I didn't have time to read it though. And I started building on, but then it was a bit too hard for me to build on using one hand and one camera. I'm gonna have to practice that later on. But it's my first it's my first unboxing video. So it's pretty good, pretty good. Alright. I got it to snap on. You can see the back of it. It's like you have to slide it in, you know. It's basically a slide and lock technique. So I put that to the side later on. Now I show that it says a scale 1 to 200 model. It isn't that big. I think it's like 12 inches, maybe 15. I put that to the side now. And I started with, I believe, the fuselage. So yeah. We pointed out the fuselage, I brought in the fuselage, and the empennage. So, I thought it was supposed to be like scissor kind, where you have to use the scissor to open it, that's why there's a cut there. But then I realized, oh, I was stupid. It's supposed to be like a sliding technique. Just slide it out of the plastic film. I tried sliding it out, uh, my camera's wobbly, but at least I got it out, at least I got it out. So, we said that we were going to work on the empennage. The empennage, and there was a serial number. My camera wasn't f really focusing, but I tried to make it focus, right? It said, Golf, Dash, Bravo, November, Lima, Yankee. Which is the 1919 to 2019 version of the 100. I think this is like the 100th library, I believe. Like 100 years, like a century, right? I thought it was a cool library though. You can't lie, like, it's cool. It's really sick. So, later on, I started with the two fins in the back. The rudder and the vertical stabilizer was already put on there, so I didn't have to worry about that part. It was pretty fun building this thing. My camera was all over the place, but I tried to manage it. I tried real hard. I found out that there was the places where you put it in, like slide it in, and it locks in. And it was pretty useful, but then I just didn't know which wing went on which side. I was kind of dumb for that, so... Yeah. I was just trying like little combinations, but at the end, I got it. At the end, I got it. So. I got the dorsal fin. I got actually the, what's it called? The empennage on. And then. I basically showcase the tail section, the empennage, and it was pretty cool after all. Later, I started with the fuselage, and I was like, let me just first do the wings, because the wings are a major part of the airplane. The airplane cannot survive without wings, as I learned in my AMT classes, and I saw that there was, you have to put on the engine, so... The engines were kind of small though, but at least it worked. The scissor was in the way, of course. The scissor's always in the way. But I found out that you had to just slide things in and then just push it up top under the little flannels, as I call them. I don't know what's the correct term. Don't judge me because I don't know the exact term for it. But it's the things that connect the wing f to the engine, alright? <laughs> it's that part. 
I got, I got, to be honest, I got a little confused, but I had finished the first one, and I was like, great, we finished the first one, now three more to go, like, being so excited, you know? But either way, I got the engines to be on, and it was pretty cool. I was going to add up the engines and probably get it started up and running. Since I got the engines to put on, I started to assemble the wings. So, there is the wings. I assembled the wings. And it was actually a great time. My me my table was a little bit messy. Don't judge about the background, please. Because I need, like, more space for it. But I couldn't really get more space. As you can see, like, there's that glossy feeling of the wings. And I was trying to show off the gear, but apparently I did not, like, really do so good. But... It still has that tilt, alright? The tilt's not that good in air, but then on ground, it's really, really good. The main, the nose landing gear was so hard to put on. Like, I had to use the scissor to basically shove it down there. But at least I got it in. At least I got it in. Right. I haven't been... I should go to the gym later or something. Because I need to get more muscles. And I got my lower land... My main landing gears on. Which is pretty good. And then it was time for me to put it on the stand. And that will be it. And at the end, we showcase some photos. So stay, stay a little bit and look at those photos, admire it. And it was a good one. I actually liked the plane a lot though. It was pretty, pretty good. I have to give it a good rating, a 10 out of 10. Maybe an 11 out of 10 if we're being sarcastic. But to m today, there's probably going to be two videos coming out. Maybe like one in the after the evening and one in the night. EST time. Eastern time, right? So I will probably record my voice for that too. But you know what? Stay tuned. I... I don't know what's gonna go on next, but it's probably just gonna go by instincts. I trust my guts, right? I hope you enjoyed the video though, but it was a great time building this plane, and I liked it. So, I will see you in the next video, if I do post one, another one today.